Another Connecticut County moves into that red zone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Ben Goldman and I'm Amanda Rouse and for Jen Bernstein. The CDC says a second Connecticut County has moved into that high category for COVID community spread. This afternoon, Hartford County met the threshold to be in that high category. Health officials say areas in the high classification are reporting more than 100 new cases of COVID per 100,000 people in the last seven days. Fox 61's Alicia Machado joining us live in Hartford tonight with how residents and local leaders are responding to this transition. Transition. Alicia. Well, many residents feel like we're taking steps back instead of moving forward after the situation seemed to be looking up this summer. Local leaders are making another push tonight to urge people to get vaccinated after the county moved into the high risk category. We're going backwards. COVID case rates moving in the wrong direction. Hartford County now at high risk for COVID-19 community transmission. Just months after restrictions were largely lifted, the masks coming back on. And it's looking like this will continue into fall. Students and staff in West Hartford Public Schools will be required to wear masks inside pre-K through 12 schools and buses. We look to the health experts to give us their sage advice and we follow that to the degree possible. I strongly support the superintendent's decision to require masks, at least for this current time. Um, and I'm very happy because I have one child who is underneath vaccination age in West Hartford Public Schools. New Hartford's Jody Novitsky, a pediatrician who tells us she worked through the pandemic caring for sick children and a mask policy will help keep kids safe. Essentially, there's too many kids out there who are too young to be vaccinated. And unfortunately, there are some children whose parents have chosen not to vaccinate them in the high school and middle school settings. So essentially, this is just going to keep the rest of us safe. Despite cases rising in Hartford County entering the red zone, Bristol Mayor Ellen Zappo Sasu keeping things in perspective. I think three and a half percent is still something that is manageable as opposed to what I've been tracking in other states. Uh, my son just came home from Florida due to a COVID outbreak at his school. In a recent executive order, Governor Lamont leaving mask mandates up to towns. But Mayor Zappo Sasu says she's not leaning in that direction. I think that with our high vaccination rate in Bristol that we are positioned well. And I think that businesses, individuals and families need to take personal responsibility. Hartford Mayor Luke Bronin released a statement responding to the shift in the pandemic, saying, quote, regardless of what category we're in, at this point, everyone should wear a mask indoors when they're around other people. And if you haven't gotten vaccinated, do your part to put this pandemic behind us and get vaccinated this weekend.